you know Jay Gottinger probably better than anybody here. Just what have you thought of him so far in this series? And we always talk about him coming back from a loss. What do you expect to see from him tomorrow? Continued great things. I mean, you look at period one and game one, he's the reason we're still in it. Um, throughout the entire game, last game, I mean, you can't ask much more of him. We've probably asked too much of him at times, but, uh, you know, that's what he's there for and why he's you know, obviously so talented and got the uh, pedigree that he's built for himself so far. And, you know, he'll continue to give us a chance to win like he's obviously asking of himself. And, you know, we got to take advantage of how great he's playing for us. From ESPN, there it is. <laughs> um, give me a little Coach Wedgwood on the uh, on the Golden Knights. What do they do well defensively to kind of give you guys some problems offensively? I think they do a good job, just kind of you know digging pucks out of corners. They've they've won some wall battles against us that have you know led to some chances, and I think they've uh, kind of taken advantage of some you know misplays on our part on getting the puck deep at, at times throughout the game. They've got a good rush game and. Unfortunately, when they start rolling in, uh, in our end, they've been able to create some stuff to the net and, and win some box outs. But uh, you know, I think uh, you know, looking at ourselves, it's some easeable fix, some potential fixes on our part. You know, managing the puck a little better, ending plays a little bit sooner. You, you take the puck out of some other uh, their skill guys' hands, and it shuts things down. But uh, you know, that's all all in house fixes. It's uh, you know they've taken advantage of what we've given them, and you know you obviously take that away, they don't they don't get much. So you know, both teams this time of year are playing exactly the same way. No one wants to make mistakes. It's pucks in, pucks out. And once, uh, you know, opportunity arises, you got to make the most of it. And, you know, right now they're, they're two up on us for that reason. Front right. Oh, there you go. Leah Simakopoulos, Dallas Morning News. Uh, Pete was talking a little bit about overtime and the challenges that you guys have had in overtime and said that that might be more of an off-season fix, but obviously a lot of games this postseason are going to overtime. So what have you seen in overtime and what are the immediate fixes that you think need to go into place before the next game? I don't know if there's a technical immediate fix to anything. It's just unfortunately one shot wins in that uh, that time frame and we've been on the short end of the stick and in the playoffs and obviously like you said throughout the year but I mean it's just every detail obviously gets heightened every potential mistake change puck on net I mean the, the goals of throughout all playoffs have pretty much been scored you know inside the hash mark I think the Toronto series had a couple uh, you know point shots off face offs that you saw go in but it's pucks to the net it's you know making sure you got your guy a little bit more communication a little more desperation and you know, it's not like we don't have that. It's just obviously you've been on the other side of it. Um, and then, you know, that uh, potential thought process kind of creeps in of what's wrong. You know, I think anyone in our room is too worried about it. You know, teams go down 2 all the time. And, you know, they uh, they held their home ice. And it's, it's obviously our turn to do the same. And, you know, we'll get a bounce here and, and win it over time if we get there. But obviously uh, until that comes, you know, we're just focused on playing a full 60 minutes, get the win in regulation. And then, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, I'm sure we'll find a way to, to win big here if uh, we go 60-plus. Me again. Uh, I'm asking a lot of the guys uh, about Joe Pavelski, not so much on the ice, but off the ice, what we don't see with, you know, the leadership, the personality and everything like that. And just what have you gotten to know about him in the time that you've been with him? Well, he's got the nickname Captain America on the ice and he kind of has that personality off the ice. I'm a big fan of that character, but he's just a top class human being. I think, uh, you know, what he's done with Wyatt, obviously bringing him to his house and seeing Wyatt grow up and some of the videos and stories he has of just, you know, making fun of him and also teaching him and things like that. It's, um, you know, it's one of those guys that growing up and, you know, as I started my career, he's obviously been a, a top tier athlete and player throughout the league. And, you know, him and, you know, Joe Thornton there, you're like, oh, those are two guys that seem like they'd be cool to hang around with and you weren't wrong kind of coming into the league. I mean, um, he's got world-class hockey talent. He's a great golfer. A ton of our team is a big fan of golfers. So you get to talk to him and things like that. And, you know, I've hung out with him outside of the rink obviously a numerous times throughout the year, dinners and things like that. And it's just uh, you know, one of those guys that you can walk away from your hockey career after and be like, you know, who was, who'd you really like? You know, I'm, I'm a big fan of Anton Strom of my time in Arizona. You know, one of those, one of those names that come up. Um, Scott Clements has been a big, you know, mentor of mine. And I'm sure for a lot of players, it's Joe Pavelski. And then a lot of friends, it's, it's going to be, you know, Joe was a great guy, a great teammate. Um, that's just, you know, one of the biggest things. And I think for a lot of people, you play your hockey career, you know, you hope to have a legacy and, points and all that but you know in my mind too when you walk away you hope to have a lot of friends and a lot of respect and I don't think he's going to have a, a short list of people to say nice things about him and he's continuing to do that and obviously there's a, a big goal for him here at the uh, by the end of the career of what he really wants and you know our whole team's you know pulling for him and going to do everything we can to make sure he achieves that along with us.